Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio, and we are going to attempt something new today. This um, project is supposed to look like torn pages, so in the end, hopefully, that's what we'll have. Um, the first layer I am putting down is Tim Holtz tissue paper. Um, I just really like the print, and since this is going to look like torn pages, um, it's good to have some text in the background. This video is for a video hop called The Inspiration Conspiracy, so I'll tell you more about that as we go along. I'm just trimming off the edges, and yeah, I'm just using an index card. I think if I did this again, I would pick something a little bit larger, but I wanted to do something quick as a sample. So the technique I watched, it had several different methods. Um, this is not one they did, but this is one they described. So I thought I would try it. And you put Vaseline on the image where you want it to uh, resist the paint. Um, I was a little nervous about doing this. So I'm using uh, my least favorite paintbrush. Um, it's really kind of small and it's not very smooth, but and you'll see here, I kind of avoid the Vaseline for a long time because I just was afraid what it would do to the bristles. But you don't need to worry. Um, though they did feel kind of oily, they it comes clean with some soap. So you don't need to worry about damaging your brush at all. So I just let it dry and then you wipe and it comes right off. It's very awesome. The areas where the Vaseline is, the paint did not dry thoroughly. And you can see it's kind of stained the page, but I'm just using a baby wipe and using clean area on there just to get the white back. So here's where I use the baby wipe to just brighten up those areas. Um, but yeah, and I also use the baby wipe to get the Vaseline off. When you wipe it, um, the Vaseline kind of smears across. So I just wipe it with a baby wipe. I find any loose areas and just get it nice and clean. I did use a blow dryer. It's fine to use um, a dryer. I don't have a heat gun. Mine's just a blow dryer so it doesn't get quite as hot. Alright, so now I'm applying it and I'm including areas of the blue so that um, with our next layer we will see some of the blue. And if you don't like everything that you see that's uncovered um, if you've washed it with the baby wipe, you don't need to put Vaseline on it and it will, um, the paint will seal to it. Um, so if you uncovered something you didn't want to uncover, just paint over it. So our next layer is going to be white and this is just a white um, craft paint. I think it's Craft Smart and Apple Barrel are the two brands that I'm using for these first two colors. And the color before was Ocean Breeze by Craftsmark. Now here I decided I wanted some t more text, so I'm just doing um, an alphabet block that I've um, washi taped the individuals together so that uh, I don't have to stamp them individually. And where the Vaseline is, the paint does come up, so you have to kind of wash your stamp as you go along, but you know, it's not too difficult. I'm just using a baby wipe and then paper towel and it dry before I stamp the next piece. Now we've got that done, you do want the ink to dry and then you wipe again. And, you know, I like how this looks right here. I could have stopped, but I keep going, you know. It's never enough. I just like to keep going. So again, I'm rubbing with a baby wipe, getting a clean corner, and just getting all that Vaseline off again, making sure all the areas are clean. That way I have a fresh start when I apply the next uh, round of Vaseline. <laughs> or petroleum jelly, if you aren't familiar with the term Vaseline. 
So now I'm reapplying it in areas that I think are interesting that I want to keep. I'm watching this, I look like I'm covering the whole thing. I do leave a little bit, but not very much. Now this paint is uh, Americana, and it's called Vivid Violet. Um, the consistency of this paint is different than the ones I was using. It's more um, plasticky. Um, maybe it's, it doesn't say gloss on it, but maybe it's a gloss. Um, it ends up being more rubbery and peeling a lot easier, so it doesn't make a great layer. So for this one, I just put a bird in the center. That was the one spot that I could see that was dry. And see how that just peels right up? That's where the Vaseline was. And it does cut out here. I'm really sorry. Um, I don't know if I forgot to turn it on or what happened, but I rubbed and um, this is what was left. And you can see I kind of pick at it a little bit because it just kind of balled up everywhere. So um, I would make sure your paint is matte if you try this project. So again, reapplying. So I, I need to get one more layer. And this time I'm not I'm not covering everything. So it will leave some of the next layer on there. I think if I had a bigger um, surface, I could have had a lot more fun. <laughs> Alright, so this one is another Craft Smart and it's called Vanilla. I just kind of wanted the antique white look. And I got tired of my smaller brush, so I used my bigger brush. And this is a script stamp that I got at Michael's. It's just illegible script. And we're just going to punch, uh, stamp this across the surface and you can see there it left a big blank spot. We'll deal with that. So I decide to fill in the blank spot I would just put this feather stamp and then I decided I couldn't just have one so we're putting it in a few areas that are kind of light. There we go. Now once it's dry rub it off and that is Ranger's archival ink by the way that I'm stamping with and you make sure it's very dry before you do this or you'll just smear the ink. And now I'm going through with a baby wipe and cleaning up the areas. I kind of lost um, my bird there but I decide we need a focal point, so I'll put a few stamps on there. But while I'm doing this, um, the Inspiration Conspiracy Video Hop, the links will be listed below in the description where you say see where it says see more. Um, if you go to the first link on the list, that'll take you to the next one. If you do that after each video, it will take you all the way around to see all of them until you end up. At where you started. Um, yeah. So here we're going to fix the bird. That looks better. And now we, he needs a friend. So we're going to put another one on there. And these are just stamps I made. Deciding where to put him. And to make this look like a finished piece, we need to do something around the edges. So I am just taking the Ranger ink and just rubbing it along the edges just to give it some shading, a little darkening. And here I decide I want it darker on the very edge, so I am just running it right along the edge of the paper. There we go. Got a lot of words on there, but none you can read, so we're going to add a little sentence. And it's going to read, Words Give Us Wings. So I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to click on the link below for the video hop and see all the great art uh, that people are creating. 
And if you did like it, please hit like, comment, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.